today we're going to take a quick look at uh, panoramic sky maps, which are really nice. Although I'm kind of partial to the uh, to the six cube or you know the six piece way of creating them, but the panoramic is really nice. The issue is really finding them. Uh, so last time in class we had created this sky map right here, and we'll review this whole process here in just a minute. So we've got this nice sky map right up there, except we have this seam right here, right? Okay, <coughs> so for fixing that seam. First of all, we're going to go ahead and grab our the panoramic sunset sky map I have right there. And I want to go find the texture, so I'll just click the texture and it takes me there. Usually, usually, like remember our six cubes, usually when you're dealing with a seam like this, you fix it by going to wrap mode and turning on clamp. And what this is doing is uh, basically... <sighs> Basically, a lot of times this is like a little bit left over from the, uh, the, the other side of the texture when it's wrapping to, to create a tileable kind of texture. So usually you can do this clamp and that's going to resolve the problem. Remember, that's exactly what solved the problem for our cube maps for, for the, uh, when, when we're dealing with these guys over here in our cube map, right? <coughs> but uh, you can see that didn't solve the problem. Okay, so another thing we can do, we'll put that back to repeat and just leave it there, is in the advanced section right here, I can open up the advanced section and I can turn off MIP maps. Now what MIP maps are doing are they are creating uh, smaller textures for use with uh, potential LOD. Okay, um, And I, I don't really want to go too much further into it than just that. They're, they're essentially being used for LOD kind of stuff. Well, that makes perfect sense, right? Uh, you know, generally, if you're further away from something, you'd probably like a lower res texture, so you're not using as much texture memory, or and, and your game performance is going well. But if you're dealing with a sky map, well, no matter how far away you are from it, you really only want to see this one version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the MIP map off, so we don't generate that, and hit apply, and you can see that gets rid of my seam. So now. When I come in here, my seam is gone. Okay, so there we go. That's that solution. So that's got that fixed. So let's go ahead and, and kind of review that whole process for creating this uh, panoramic sky map. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, CG Skies uh, because, well, it's the first one I think of with panoramic skies. Now you're free to go to um, Google and you know search for other ones. Just do uh, panoramic sky texture, maybe, or just panoramic sky, whatever and search around. Uh, try to st stay within powers of two. Uh, remember textures for our games prefer to be powers of two. Uh, you could always pull it into Photoshop and resize it to a power of two. Or you can do some eh, twiddling over here, but you know you shouldn't really need to do much over there. Just power two is going to be a whole lot better, uh, especially with repeating and things like that. Okay, so I want to go ahead and check out my CG skies here. And, oh, what do I want to do? Let's go after... Do I want to do a dusk one? Well, that's kind of what we have there. Let's go after an overcast one. And, I don't know, I'd kind of like to get, like, a an angry storm or something. Or any kind of storm. <laughs> That'd be fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Any of these look like a storm? That kind of does. Maybe I'll go with that one. Okay, yeah, let's go back. Let's grab this guy right here. I'm going to grab that one and I'm going to download that one in the free sample here which is 3000 by 1500. Notice that is completely breaking my whole rule of get powers of two. So you know you're, you'll be alright without using powers of two. It's just if you can find them that's a whole lot easier. Uh, but yeah I'm just going to go ahead and grab this 3000 by 1500 right there. Let's right click and let's do a well actually let's just click it and it's going to download. Nice. Okay, so while that's downloading, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and go find it in my downloads folder and bring it over here into my game, into my project. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring it into the sky textures. And you know what? Let's create a new folder here in sky textures. Let's go create folder. And I'm going to call this uh, panoramics from CG Skies. There we go. So that way I kind of always remember where I got these guys from. Alright, and I moved my other panoramic into there. So let's go ahead and import. So I'm just going to grab my other CG Skies one and just drop it right there. 
So I've got it right there. Okay, so now let's create a, oh boy, I've got all these no folders. Wow, this drives me batty. Let's create a folder, and I'm going to call this folder materials, and then inside that folder, I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to call this sky maps, and let's just go with cube, this one, this one, and that one, and I'm going to put those into my sky maps folder. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for my scenes. I don't want it there. I'm going to pull it down to here. Put my Lord of the Flies scene in there. And let me create another folder. Create a folder for my terrains. There we go. Grab both of these guys and drop them in there. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I'm making a sky map. Okay, so I'm going to select my sky maps, go create um, material. Yeah, create material. I'm going to go ahead and change this shader over here from standard to a skybox, and we're going to use this panoramic. Now what I need is the texture in here. So let's go ahead, go to my sky textures folder, which now that I think about it, I actually just want a folder called textures for other textures. So I will go, where is it? Folder, up here at the top. textures and that will include my sky textures as well as these ground textures that we imported last time you know, uh, in class and yeah and all of a sudden this really short simple video on just creating the panoramic sky map is doing all this other stuff but um, it, it's really important to pay attention to your folder structure and not let this explode so while it's still kind of small and somewhat manageable, go ahead and make some of those changes. So let's go back to my new material. I'm going to rename this thing. So I'm going to call this F2. I'm going to call this, and I'm just using panoramic so that way I can kind of always remember that it, this one is panoramic. So I'm going to do panoramic storm. At least that's what I'm hoping to do. And let's go down to our textures, go into our sky textures, and this CG Skies 334, this is the one that just downloaded. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so now I've got my sky map ready to go. Let's go ahead and change which sky map we're using. So we'll go to Window, Lighting, and Settings. Let's change our sky box material right here to my panoramic storm. There we go. And now we will start doing some tweaking on this. And while I'm here, instead of calling these sky maps in my materials right there, let's change that one to sky boxes sky just to be universally consistent there there we go okay so I've got my seam so let's go ahead and get that seam fixed I'm going to click my texture go select it let's turn off our mip map looks good let's apply this and my seam is now gone okay I want to try to do some more stuff with this so let me go back to my panoramic storm let's see what let's try let's play around with these Okay, if I crank up my exposure, see, I'm getting overexposed, basically, or underexposed. I'm going to I will leave that at 1. Now, I could rotate this. Zoom, you know, maybe I want the uh, light source to be in a different location. In this case, I kind of do, so I'm going to, like, put it over that way, maybe. All right. And let's change our tint color on this, just to see what happens. So I'm going to come up here to my tint color. I'm going to go kind of orangey. go tornado looking skies so we got a nasty something happening here <laughs> uh, let's see maybe like that what if we went with blues on this okay that's just weird Ooh, purple yeah that's that's weird yeah let's go back to this this orange right about there okay uh, let's try increasing our alpha see what happens shouldn't have any impact and it didn't I can even put that down to zero the alpha has no impact on the tint uh, basically it's just a tint color being overlaid on it um, okay yeah I kind of like that so I'm gonna close that and let's take a look at what we have now okay so there we've got this different kind of sky going on 
uh, my light, my world light just doesn't work with this. So let's go ahead. And when you're on your first person sh controller right there, if you hit escape, you get your mouse back. So let's go ahead up there. And let's go to my directional light. And I'm going to change this color. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to go after kind of that type of color. So I'm just going to hit my, my eyedropper right there. And let's just maybe clip this a nice bright color. Okay, now let's soften that. That's going to be too dark, so I'm going to go maybe that way with it. All right, now how does this look? Okay, there we go. Now I'm getting a little bit more color happening here. All right. Oops, I want to make sure that I can still see. There we go. And then once I click somewhere, it'll stop, you know, rotating around. So go escape. Now I'm going to come over here and just click. Like there. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, we haven't really done l lighting in class yet, so I don't really want to start going through here and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. But uh, I kind of want to do a little bit at least. Let me drop my intensity down. There we go. So it's not as bright as it is. And, yeah, I'll just kind of stop there. So now I've got this, and, and I'm almost bringing in it like a haze to it as well, just by dropping that down. And I haven't even added uh, fog into this, which of course I'm going to have to add at some point in time. All right, so there we go. So playing around with our light a little bit and getting a panoramic sky map going. Uh, longer than I meant it to be because I ended up doing other stuff that I thought I wasn't going to do. But any questions, just feel free to let me know.